Hey guys, if you'd like to learn how to make your first $100,000 online working part-time from home, I'm gonna show you how to do it in this presentation. So easy, a caveman could do it. Is it really that easy? No, that's probably an exaggeration, but some people say that I look like a caveman, so there you go. That counts for something, right? So anyway, why should you listen to me? If you've never heard of me before, you might not know why the heck would I listen to this weirdo on the internet. So let me tell you a little bit about me first of all, just super quick. I've done about $600,000 in sales, so I'm not a super big hot shot. There are a lot of people that have made a lot more money online than I have. However, I figured it out recently, and I'll explain why that's so important in just a moment. So when I started on this journey, well, before I started on this journey, I was working a corporate job as a data analyst. And it was a pretty good job as jobs go, but after a while, I started to want more. I started to want the freedom of being able to work for myself and the income potential that comes along with that. So in October of 2018, I decided to quit my job. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't really have any other alternative. I just knew that if I quit my job, then I would have an extra 40 hours a week back that I could figure out where I was gonna go and I figured I could probably figure out in that extra time what it was that I wanted to do. And so I tried a bunch of stuff. A couple months later, I found a mentor and paid that mentor $36,000 to work with me. This is a guy that was very successful and he claimed that he could help me to be successful as well. And I didn't have $36,000, by the way. You know, I was not working. I did not really have much of an income. I did have a little side business where I was, uh, creating Excel sheets for companies, but I just went on faith that it would pay off. And so I, you know, I'd spent like 18,000 of that, like half of that, I emptied my retirement accounts um, and, and paid him. And then the other half took a big loan. Um, and so I did everything that he told me to do to the T. And he, he gave me, at first he started telling me that I should sell one of his courses using a webinar. And so I followed his directions exactly and over and over again ran this webinar that almost nobody showed up to. I got zero sales and I did this for like six months at least. And so finally I told him, look, man, this isn't working. And um, he said, OK, well, let's try something else. And he said, OK, instead of doing a webinar, let's just try driving people directly to a sales page. So set up a sales page for like a seven dollar offer. And then after that, have an upsell and then an upsell after that. So I went ahead and did exactly what he told me. I set up the sales pages. And I did get a couple of sales, but I lost money on the deal. Like I was spending more on ads than I was on than I was getting back from the sales. And I was spending my own money on the ads this whole time, by the way. So I was just getting further and further and further in debt, further in the hole. And so that didn't work. And then he, you know, I told him, like, look, this isn't working either. And he said, OK, well, um, let's try let's try doing a marketing agency. So you're going to have a marketing agency where you're building marketing materials for companies. I thought, OK, that's cool. And, and, you know, I decided I would do a marketing agency for plastic surgeons. Now, I didn't really know anything about plastic surgery, except that it was expensive procedures like high ticket procedures and that they don't really deal with insurance. So I figured that would make sense. That also totally flopped. Now, this was also in like um, the very beginning of 2020 when all the, the COVID lockdowns were starting. So that was probably like the worst timing I ever could have had, but that was yet another thing that didn't work. And so at that point, I kind of, I realized that this guy that I had paid to mentor me had like, even though he was very successful and, and deserves all the credit for his success, uh, he had found his first success quite a long time ago. And that matters because he doesn't, he knew, he knows how to go from zero back then when he went from zero, but he had no idea how to get me from zero now, right? Because he had a, a lot of name recognition. He had a big social media following. I didn't have any of that. I didn't have any connections. I had nothing. And so the things that he told me to do probably would have worked five or 10 years ago, but they did not work at the time that I was trying them. So I decided to kind of go back to the drawing board and I thought, okay, well, I'm trying to sell to plastic surgeons, but the truth is that I don't know anything about plastic surgery. I don't know any plastic surgeons. I've never even been to a plastic surgeon before. Uh, so maybe I should go, I should do agency work for some kind of business that I actually do understand somewhat. And so I thought, well, I have this Excel consulting business where I'm making Excel sheets for people. And I thought, well, maybe I could help Excel consultants 
to get clients because I had actually figured out a pretty good system of getting clients. I wasn't really doing it very much anymore because it was still just trading time for money, but I, I was getting clients for the business and I thought I could teach other people. And then I thought, well, okay, but the truth is there, there are very few people that are actually doing this business, right? It's a very unique business. And so I thought, what if instead of helping existing Excel uh, freelancers, what if I show people who are Excel experts how to start a business as an Excel freelancer. And I thought, okay, that's kind of a cool idea. And so I threw together a course outline of, of like how I could help somebody create that business, get it off the ground. I came up with a simple idea for a presentation that I could give and, and you know, teach people kind of the basics of how to do it for free. And then at the end, I could pitch my, my full detailed course on how to do it. And so I spent um, about $320 on ads for that presentation, gave the presentation and ended up making $5,000 alone just from that one presentation. So that, as you can imagine, completely changed my life, right? I could put in $320 and get $5,000 out, right? That's more than a 10 times return, not bad. And so Needless to say, I kept doing the same thing over and over again, kept kept paying for ads, running the same presentation, selling the same thing and ended up making um, over or just about thirty thousand dollars in the very first month. This was in September of 2020. Right. And so I kept doing that for quite a while. I did that for months and months. And then eventually I got to a point where I kind of freaked out and I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to keep doing this forever because there aren't really that many people that are Excel experts that are going to be able to have a, a Excel freelance business. And in hindsight, I think probably I was wrong about that. Probably I could have kept going. Um, probably there were enough people I could have kept going, but I kind of got scared. And and success will do that to you when you're not used to it, by the way, <laughs> like something to look forward to when you get your first success, you're even if you believe that it's going to happen when it actually happens, it's kind of a, it feels like you're out of place in a way. Um, and so you're you kind of watch your mind because you'll sabotage yourself. But anyway, I decided, you know, however wrongly that I should stop doing that business. And I thought, well, there's a lot of people who would like to be data analysts. I had taught myself how to become a data analyst, which actually doubled my salary from the job that I had before. So I thought, you know, I could I could teach other people how to do the same thing. Probably there are people that are in the position that I was before I got into that career that I could teach how to get into that career and they would be overjoyed. And so I basically I copied and pasted exactly the same process that I had used for the Excel business and did the same thing for teaching people how to be data analysts, ran the same presentations and again first month made just about $30,000. So it's cool because I found something that repeated and that was uh, that was in March of 2021, by the way. And so uh, the point is here that, um, well, I mean, for one thing, like this changed my life forever. You know, right before I, I got the first success, I was like $70,000 in debt. Um, I spent, I, like I struggled for two years before I got to the point where I was actually making more money than I was spending, I had gone $70,000 in debt. I was living in South America for like a year of that time where, where stuff is cheaper. But anyway, my point is that I figured this out and I figured it out recently. So it's not like I, I figured out something 10 years ago. So you see these guys that say I've made $10 million or I've made $50 million. It's like, that's awesome. But could they start from zero today? when the market is completely different, especially the online market that's that's constantly changing. So anyway, that's why you might want to listen to me. Now, one one big lesson, one thing looking back on this that I, I recognize is that a big reason that I succeeded was because I always believed that I would. Right. Um, you know, my favorite, my personal favorite business guru, a guy by the name of Jesus Christ, he says, if you can believe all things are possible, to him that believes. Well, I took that seriously and I always believed, right? I always believed that I would succeed. It was just a matter of, of when and not if. And so if you believe, if you wholeheartedly believe that you will succeed, it makes the actual success come so much easier because when you have a failure, when you have a stumbling block, 
it's it doesn't discourage you. You're like, oh, okay, well, that's just one more thing that doesn't work, but I'm going to find the thing that does work, right? And yet it's a learning experience. And it, uh, you know, whereas if you don't truly believe, then you have a failure and you think, oh, it's just, it's not going to work. Um, it's just not for me. And, and you're tempted to give up. But if you really believe that it's going to happen eventually, which in my view of the world, it has to. Like, if I try to do something long enough, eventually I'm going to succeed. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. I'm always going to succeed if I try hard enough for long enough. Right. And so if you will adopt that mindset, then nothing will stand in your way. So anyway, let's get into kind of more specifics. I sell online courses and coaching. That's the business path that I have chosen. It's not the only one, but let me show you why I think it's such a great option. Number one, you don't have to deal with inventory, right? You don't have to have physical products. You don't have to worry about stuff breaking. Uh, you don't have, a, have to have a building. You don't have to have employees, at least at the beginning. You know, eventually, if you get big enough, you might want to hire employees, but you can make a pretty good living before you ever hire anyone. It's basically zero overhead, like no money that you're having to pay for stuff. It's, it's except for ads. You're basically collecting all the money, which means high profit margin. This is part time work. Once you get the system up and running, you really only have to do a few hours a week worth of work to keep it up. Now, if you're a crazy like entrepreneur workaholic like me, you're always finding other stuff to do. But the actual work that it takes to maintain the business is very small. Um, it's from anywhere, right? You work from your computer. So anywhere you want to go, if you want to travel, if you want to be one of those people that works from the coffee shop, like <laughs> anywhere that you have an Internet connection. And then perhaps most importantly is that you're actually making a positive impact on people's lives, right? We live in a world where a lot of companies do not do that, right? There's a lot of companies that are selling poison food and poison drink and education and entertainment that actually makes people stupid. Um, they're censoring people and shutting people down from the banks because they're having the wrong, wrong viewpoints, right? Like the, the, corporate world, the, the business world right now is, is really nasty, a lot of it. Um, and of course, there's a lot of exceptions there. But for me, it was a big deal knowing that I was actually helping people, pushing people up, helping people to be better and getting paid for it. So I really, really like this particular business model. So let me show you the whole dead simple sales model. Like this is how I get clients. Um, and it's like, this is it. It's just five steps that I just repeat over and over and over again, rinse and repeat. So easy, a caveman like me can do it. So step one is uh, run YouTube ads. So what we do is we run a YouTube ad offering a free training. So I say, hey, click on this ad and, and you can get this free training on how to become a data analyst. Right. And then um, they'll go, they'll click on the ad. They'll go to an opt in page. The opt in page just asks for the name and email address in order to get to sign up for the free training. Right. And so they submit their name and email address, hit confirm. They go to a confirm page, which um, just gives them some, some stuff to like of what to expect for the training. Like what's the day and time and what's the link and like um, show up early and, and take notes and that kind of stuff. Now, when the presentation actually happens, I do the presentations live because the, the live experience is just, it, it builds a lot more trust. Like when people can actually talk to you and ask you questions, it builds a lot of trust. And so the presentation is essentially, I just show them some cool stuff. I give them uh, some useful, actionable information that will help them to get towards their goal. And then at the end, the presentation's an hour or so, at the end, I give a pitch for what my course is. So I say, you know, like if you would like me to work hand in hand with you, if you'd like to have my detailed system for every part of this process, then buy my course. And then if so, you know, I give them a link, they go to an order form, they buy the course, I get paid. So that's it. That's the whole sales model. Pretty darn simple. Um, so let me show you the numbers for any of you data nerds like me, what, like what the numbers look like. And so these are kind of, kind of uh, average numbers. These aren't the exact numbers, um, that, but these, like this is kind of a benchmark that I generally look for. So you're having, first of all, you're having to pay for per click. You're running ads, you're having to pay for those ads. So if you can get $1.50 per person who clicks on your ad, that's decent. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Uh, and this is gonna, gonna change a little bit depending on what industry, what, what niche you're in, like what your product is, it's gonna be a little different. But in general, 
my benchmark is $1.50 cost per click. Now, of those people who click on the ad, some percentage are actually going to give their name and email address and sign up for the free presentation. And so a good um, benchmark for that is 25%. Like one, one out of four people who clicks actually opts in. So what that means is that per person who opts in, which I'm calling a lead, you're, you're paying $6 on average for each person who actually signs up for your free presentation. Now, since it's a free presentation, people generally don't value things that are free very much, right? So if it's free, the majority of people don't actually show up, right? So if you can get 30% of people to show up, that's not bad, right? That's decent. So um, with the 30% show up rate, that means that your cost, that you're spending $20 per person who shows up, right? And like, if you're wondering how this works, it's like $20 times um, 0 0.3, 30% equals $6, right? So you know, just trust me on the math if, you, <laughs> if you're not following. Uh, so you're paying $20 in ads per person who actually shows up on your presentation. So let's say that you get a 5% conversion rate. Again, it's pretty standard benchmark here. 5% of people who show up actually buy your product. Well, that means that you're paying $400 in ads per person that you sell, right? $400 every time you get a sale. So at a $1,500 price point, which is the price point that I always use, that means that is $1,100 per sale profit, right? So you see how this works. You put in $400 and take out $1,500. And this is pretty cool because you can just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, right? Like, do you think that's cool? Um, I, like, I think it's amazing. You put $400 in, get $1,500 out. Put $800 in, get $3,000 out. Put $4,000 in, you get $15,000 out, right? And so it's really easy to make a very good income this way. So let's say that you want to make $10,000 a month. Well, all you need to do is make 10 sales, right? And then you're at well, $11,000 a month, right? If you want to make $20,000 a month, just make 20 sales in a month. Um, and you can do that, you can measure it because you know the numbers, right? If I wanna make 20 sales, I'm gonna spend $8,000. And you don't have to spend that all at once, by the way, right? Uh, I can just spend a little bit at a time, but I spend $8,000 in the month, I'll make, what is it, 1,500 times 20 is 30,000, minus my 8,000 is, is 22,000 that I have left over as profit, right? So. I this was mind blowing for me, like this changed my life forever. So let me show you uh, real quick what the biggest pitfall is, because there's a lot of people that try to do this and don't have success. And the, the biggest reason that I see is that they're just a me too, right? They're making the same claims that everybody else is making. They're like, oh, I'll help you lose weight or I'll help you make money on the Internet or, you know, the same stuff that everybody's saying and so you know think about if if you're a coach let's say you're a weight loss coach you help people lose weight you could be the greatest weight loss coach in the history of the world but if you're not if you're just saying the same thing as everybody else then nobody's going to listen to you right no everybody's just going to roll their eyes and say oh yeah i've heard that before right so you have to be able to figure out how to distinguish yourself in some way to set yourself apart in other words you need a unique angle now, that does not mean that you need a unique product, right? That doesn't mean that you have to have something different that nobody's ever selling. You know, I hear people say that, oh, I can't do that because somebody's already done it before or somebody's already doing it. Well, think about like those stupid traffic lawyers you see. There's like four billboards on every single street corner for traffic lawyers. Well, you know, if, if somebody said, oh, I can't be a traffic lawyer because there's there's already traffic lawyers in the world. Well, like, obviously, that doesn't apply because they're all making money um, and they're all, you know, have the money to set up billboards. So the, like a lot of business and just about every niche you can think of, there are multiple businesses that are all doing the same thing. Right. But what you do need is to make yourself unique in some way. You just need to present yourself unique as unique in some way. Now, there's a lot of ways to do that. But my favorite comes down to two words, and that is market research, market research. So. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. So I'll start with the uh, formula everybody uses. Like if you get, have somebody teach you how to make money online selling co courses or coaching, they're probably gonna show you this formula, which is I help this type of person get this result 
in this time frame without this thing that sucks. So maybe it's like I help women over 40 lose 10 pounds in 30 days without having to go to the gym every day, you know, something like that. And this formula is good, but most people are just guessing what to fill in the blanks. What if you could actually know what people's desires and challenges and frustrations are before you go and try to sell them stuff? Well, you can, and here's how you survey your leads. Survey your leads. That is the people that are coming in that are signing up for your free presentation. You actually ask them what they want, what they hate, what motivates them and what's holding them back. Right. And then you can sell to them in their own words. Right. So you can you can go over to here and say, OK, like, what's the thing that sucks that people hate the most? Well, instead of just guessing, now you actually know. So you can put that in your messaging, in your headlines, et cetera. And you can use their own words rather than putting it in your words. You put it in their words. Now, almost nobody is doing this. And so it'll give you a huge leg up if you do. And almost nobody is teaching this for that matter. Like I've taken a lot of courses. I learned from a lot of people um, and I love to learn from people because that just cuts years off my learning curve. And, and it's a lot easier to learn from other people's experience and my own experience. However, nobody has ever taught me this. This is something I had to figure out on my own. Now, I'm probably not the only person that's ever done it, but I did have to invent it for myself. And um, the, the standard wisdom in the industry is like, this is a quote from Frank Kern. What do you call a business that works the first time? A doggone miracle. And, and I may have edited it a little bit to make it family friendly. But the idea is that nobody expects the business to work the full time. Well, I've had this miracle, this miracle, I've had this happen twice in a row with two different businesses that were completely unrelated. How did I do that? market research right instead of just blindly pushing something out to the market i actually figured out what they want first so i hope that was helpful if you'd like a more in-depth training i have one for you here and i realize my face is blocking that um <laughs> that url down there but it's uh here you go it's dominate the marketplace.net slash freedom dash business dash tie because again i gave this as a presentation to ty lopez group um you can just scan the, the little barcode thing if you like. So go ahead and check that out if that interests you. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd also really like this video that I did all about the five most important skills you could learn in the new economy. Ciao.